how to identify the interneurons in the spinal cord. Uh, when it comes to the monosynaptic stretch reflex, the one you are testing in the clinic, it is monosynaptic. It's only one synapse. It's not an interneuron. Uh, a little bit more complicated things. They have one interneuron in between. Uh, you can do that by using two microelectrodes, and uh, you can be absolutely sure what you do. When it comes to locomotion, it is much, much more difficult. Uh, in uh, my thesis from 1972, I was working on anesthetized animals, and we were looking at the connections in the spinal cord, and then we were just uh, guessing from these connections that under normal circumstances they may have that or that function. But that was a guess, extrapolation. So therefore I decided that uh, there were two possibilities. Either you have to go to the humans and uh, identify the same network and then to ask the humans to make voluntary movements and uh, to find out how it was possible. Or you had to use an animal preparation where you have some sort of behavior. And uh, we got locomotion by drugs and uh, then we stimulate nerves. And then we change the rhythm. Uh, totally. I mean, we were resetting the rhythm and uh, with a very, very short latency. So we thought that, okay, if we follow this pathway, perhaps we must find the interneurons that are giving the rhythm of locomotion.